A Metro officer shown on video hesitating while he was one floor below the one October gunman is fighting to get his job back. This past March, Cordell Hendricks was fired for his performance during the shooting. And 13 Action News reporter Leah Pizzetti spoke to a retired officer who breaks down the protocol in a situation like this, Leah. That is right, Tricia and Todd. This retired officer admits for as much training as law enforcement might have, it's hard to not let human emotion come out when responding to an active shooter. That human emotion may have cost one Metro officer his job. Cordell Hendricks, along with two hotel security guards and another Metro officer wearing a body camera, all responded when a man started shooting from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. But they responded to the 31st floor, and for about two minutes, he says he froze. The police union says this may have cost him his job. You know, I think their biggest position is that they felt he violated policy and should have went running up there um, with just him and his partner. But as retired Sergeant Richard Strader explains, Clark County police are trained to wait until three to four officers or an element are there to respond. Once they get that element together, they go in and basically uh, it's, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, it's a search and destroy. Their job is to stop the killing, stop that guy from doing what he's doing. In this situation, there were technically only two officers who had gone through that training. Would I count them? Would I, as a, if I was working that event, would I count them as an element? Absolutely not, because they don't have the tools that you have. They don't have the communication that you have, and they're not trained. With but Strader says he knows the department, and it would not fire someone without justification. I'm sure they were trying to see was his inaction, uh, did his inaction contribute to the deaths of those people on the, on the road? or down in the uh, down in the venue and and uh, I would assume that that's they probably came to that conclusion and that's why they did what they did. Regardless, he says no matter the training, human emotion can take over in a life or death situation. Fear is is a huge thing. I mean, if you've ever been shot at before and you know what the sound of a of a of a, a projectile going over your head and striking something over your head, it's 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 a scary scary thing. Hendricks is currently in arbitration where his case will be reviewed to see if he should get his job back or remain terminated. That process is expected to take about 60 days. In studio, Leah Pacetti, 13 Action News.